the skeletal system. In this video, you will learn the different parts of the skeletal system and its functions. The skeletal system is the body system composed of bones and cartilage. It acts as the framework of our body and it determines the general body shape. The adult human skeleton usually consists of 206 bones that are bound together by tough and relatively inelastic connective tissues called ligaments. Ligaments are strong, dense, flexible bands that join bones to one another. Muscles are attached to the bones by tough cords called tendons. Tendons are strong, dense, flexible bands of connective tissues at the end of the muscles. Cartilage are supportive tissues found at the end of the bones. They protect and support the bones during weight-bearing activities. The human skeleton is divided into two sections, the axial and appendicular skeleton. The axial skeleton consists of the skull, the spine, and the rib cage. The skull is a bony structure at the top of the spine that protects the brain and other principal organs such as the eyes, ears, and nose. The spine helps protect the spinal cord and is connected by joints, thus enables the body to twist, rotate, and bend. The rib cage is composed of 12 pairs of ribs that protects the heart and the lungs. Appendicular Skeleton The appendicular skeleton consists of the upper and lower limbs. The upper limb consists of the pectoral girdle, the pelvic girdle, the arm, and the hand. The pectoral girdle provides the points of attachment of the upper limbs to the axial skeleton. It consists of the clavicle or collarbone in the anterior and the scapula or shoulder blades in the posterior. The arm part consists of the humerus of the upper arm, the radius and ulna of the forearm, eight bones of the carpus, five bones of the metacarpus, and 14 bones of the phalanges. The pelvic girdle is responsible for bearing the weight of the body and is responsible for locomotion. It is also responsible for attaching the lower limbs to the body. The lower limb consists of the thigh or femur, kneecap or patella, leg or tibia and fibula, tarsals, metatarsals, and phalanges. Now let us recap. The human skeleton acts as the framework of the body. It usually consists of 206 bones, and it is divided into two sections. The first section is called the axial skeleton. It consists of the skull, spine, and rib cage. The second section is called the appendicular skeleton, which consists of the upper and lower limbs. The upper limb is composed of the clavicle, scapula, humerus, radius, ulna, carpus, metacarpus, and phalanges, while the lower limb is composed of the femur, patella, tibia, fibula, tarsals, metatarsals, and phalanges. And that's it! You already know the different parts of the skeletal system and its functions.